clamp the bleeders. More suction. All right, I see it. It's right there by the spine. I'm going in after it. Duke's doing it eight from Atlanta. Listen, he's losing too much blood and we can't keep him transfused forever. We gotta do something. You want his life to depend on an airline schedule? Forceps. Clamp. So is this the way the department stands behind me? A few self-appointed community spokesmen raise a little dust and I'm on my tail for the winter. Is that the idea? Department cleared you. So, I'm off the hook. With the department, but not with the community. Not with yourself, Sonny. Delello called you. What does he want me to say? What do you want me to say? I'd like to see you up there. I shot the kid. I shot him, he may die, it was my gun, I can't pull the bullet back in there. And there's nothing that you say, or anybody says, or no shrink is gonna change that! You can't run in a closet and lose yourself in guilt. It's my responsibility. I'm responsible. And if it's not me, then who the hell is it? Who is it? All right. The bullet left the gun. It was your gun. Your finger on the trigger. You pulled the trigger. Now, live with the responsibility. It's gonna scar you, age you, burn you inside, and it should. But you got work to do that you care about. People are depending on that. You got people who care for you, Sonny, like me. Don't lose yourself. Gina, did you contact Kate? Gina. I said, did you contact Sonny's wife? She's in the air. She's touring somewhere in Europe. I left word with the manager. So she still doesn't know. Let's see if we can reach her. This morning, I mean, yesterday, Sonny and I, we had an argument. It was some stupid argument about filling out some kind of form. Some stupid clerical argument. If he doesn't make it, that's the last thing you'll remember about me.